In this video, I'll show you how to use Unreal's new motion magic in under 5 minutes. Motion matching is a system that's meant to replace the current state machines. The special thing about it is that it continues to select the best frame for animation to play out of a big animation pool, using 3D trajectory prediction, and it can be used to do many things, like vaulting, safe rolling and ladding, or to do whatever other thing that you want. Now let's start. First, let's open a new project and add two plugins, motion trajectory, and post search and restart the project. Now we need animations. Until the free 500 animations will come in a few months, we will use Lyra animations. Or you can make your own animations using my animation tutorial, there's a link in the description below. So make a Lyra project, press control space, characters, heroes, mana queen, animations, locomotion, and an armed. And right here you have all the animations. Let's filter only the animation sequence, select all of them, right click and migrate it into your project's content browser. Now as you can see, all the animations are here. Now let's go to the character and make a new folder, called motion matching. Right click, click on animations, motion matching, and pose search schema. Select your skeleton, and I will call it PSS MQ, as of Mana Queen. The settings right here are how the engine knows what animations to pick and what connects our skeleton to the system. I'll make a more advanced tutorial about it in the next few days, so subscribe if you want to see it. Now go to motion matching again and add post search database. I'll call it PSDMQ and double click it. This is our animation database. Each frame in the game, the engine will come to here and select the best fitted animation out of whatever we will have right here. Before we put here animations, a really important note, your animation must have emotion root enabled and force root lock. Control A, make sure it's enabled, and save. For now, let's put here only a few animations. Jog forward, backward, right, left, and idle. You can click on animations in order to see it place. Now to connect everything to our character, we need an animation blueprint. Go to our skeleton and click create animation blueprint. Before we go into this one, let's go to our character blueprint and change its skeleton to our skeleton and animation blueprint. Now, no racism or something, but I don't want him to be blue, so let's change it back to default. Last thing we need to do over here is to add a component called character trajectory. Now, let's hop things up. Go back to animation blueprint, to the event graph, drag it pawn owner and cast to our blueprint character. Get the movement component and character trajectory and promote them to variables so the blueprint will have access to them. Go back to the graph and type motion matching. Select our database, get a pose history, bind it to our trajectory and connect it to the output pose. Now let's try it out. Go to our map and hit play. It works, but as you can see, we have a little problem. There is a small lag between the idle and movement animations. In order to fix it, let's go back to our database and just add animations. Look how easy it is to do so. Just grab all the start animations to our database. and go back to play. Now it works completely fine. Two very last things. First, in order to see this trajectory line, type character trajectory and type Y in the end. In order to turn it off, type zero in the end. Second, let's see how it works with orient movement disabled. Let's make a quick thing over here so we will be able to switch mid game and check it out. In the next few days, I'll try to create more advanced tutorials about this system with jumping, safe rolls, and maybe vaulting, so subscribe to see those. But this isn't everything that comes out with the 5.4 update. If you want to see some of the other things, there's a 5 minute video over here. Or if you want to know how to use post-processing, click right here.